Today on FinChute, we're going to learn how to use some of the economic functions on Bloomberg. Firstly, there's no yellow key to help you find the economic functions on Bloomberg, so you have to start up the top on the menu bar. Type eco, and you'll see it brings up menu economic data and analysis. Make sure you click that one because eco or eco takes you to our wonderful economic calendar which in itself is very good but not going to achieve the aim of today. Click on economic data and analysis and straight away this will bring up another series of menus. Economic data, news and research, monitors, analyze, analytics, central bank info and forecast. The Bloomberg economic tool has a wealth of information in it. If we have a look at some of the highlights we can see economic calendar which contains all economic events for global consumption all of this can be edited and we'll go through that at another lesson economic statistics economic statistics for every country all through the world and we separate these into key indicators news and research Bloomberg Brief is possibly one of the better ones where you can subscribe to Bloomberg Economist data uh, and read what they're saying as opposed to reading what the bank's saying. Then we have a series of Bloomberg monitors that have been built specifically for Bloomberg users by Bloomberg and they cover off different areas. For example, the crisis monitor gives you a feel for what's happening in Europe or inflation monitor giving you a feel for global inflation I find the economics uh, tools here are excellent and this is just a very very brief introduction then if we move on to analytics what you'll see is a series of models that have been built out by Bloomberg that will make your decision making easier world interest rate probability is terrific to find where, where the futures market is saying interest rates are going to move to, for example, Australia, and it'll give you a feel. Economic Surprise Monitor, where we load up economic surprises over the last period to see whether the US is tracking negatively or positively. Taylor Rule Model, and so on and so forth. I'll leave these for your own consumption. Needless to say, that there is a wealth of information that's available to the user. Finally, economic forecasts. This is really where most people go to use the economic function to find out what's going on in the world now and where it's going to go on in the future. So keep your eye on that. This has been another introductory video from FinTube.